Where is she going? No, what are you doing? No, Dina, oh my god, why is she fighting him? No! Why is she doing this? Oh, oh god. Okay, I think Dina will need to find another rich sim to marry because obviously her and Mortimer Goth are not getting along. Yeah, and she lost. Hello everyone, welcome back to Pleasant View. We're continuing our lock renovations today and I'm so excited to continue this little series. I'm glad you guys liked the previous video and we'll be doing a mini lock makeover of the Caliente sisters household right now. So let's jump into it. Here we are with Dina and Nina, and Dina is in her bikini apparently. They're already looking a bit better because of my default replacements. I think Nina looks really cute, but for now, let's just focus on their house. And uh, they've got quite the quirky looking house, I might say. As I mentioned in my previous video, I haven't played with the pre-made since they came out. So I didn't remember how colorful the Caliente condo interior was, which I actually love it. I, lo I love a bright household. And you'll see this is something I tried to stick with as I was refreshing their place because I really wanted to retain the sort of character they have established. Quick note, the downstairs area you'll see later ends up being a little bit sparse. Uh, they didn't have a lot of money for furniture left over, so it's a little bit empty. But I think of it as part of their storyline. They're not the richest sims, they don't have much, but they can only go up from here, right? In fact, before I started building, I actually looked at their interests to see what kind of stuff they would care to see in their home, and both Nina and Dina are very interested in money. So even though Nina is not a fortune sim, she has a romance aspiration, perhaps she'd do well with a fortune secondary. But let's get back to the build. As you're seeing right now, I removed most of the objects from the house and I'm switching up the layout a little bit. My goal with this renovation series is not to drastically change the look of the Max's houses. It's much easier to just demolish everything and build whatever I want, right? You can just start from scratch and do whatever and it can be amazing. But that's not what I'm going for. I want the houses to still be mostly recognizable as their original Maxis shells, but just a bit more modern. And as you guys know, these are base game houses. They were built before any expansion packs existed. So even if I were to do these renovations without custom content, I would add a lot of stuff from later DLCs, especially like apartment life, which I think has some of the coolest objects in the game that add so much character to everything. Overall, I'm going with a very similar exterior style as I did with the Don Lotario condo. If you haven't seen that one, you can go and watch the video, but that's okay, it's not required viewing. I just wanted to make sure the little sub-neighborhood with the condos has its own little vibe so they can all look like they were designed by the same architect or something, you know what I mean? So we're going with this uh, a bit more modern, industrial looking bricks, concrete, wood paneling sort of thing. We've got the big windows. I'm not using the industrial looking windows that came with Apartment Life. I'm using just these large plain windows and I like what I did in the front there actually. I added this little window uh, on the upstairs area because that's a bathroom and it's always super awkward when there's a bathroom in the front of the house because it's like okay you want to place beautiful windows and make the facade the front facade of the house look gorgeous but then you have like three bathrooms or something upstairs and you cannot put like these floor to ceiling windows on a bathroom it's kind of kind of weird. But yes I'm trying to as you can see I'm putting like half walls um, unlike in The Sims 4, which it's very easy to build houses in The Sims 4. The Sims 4 is a build simulator, but anyways. Unlike in The Sims 4, it's a little bit difficult in The Sims 2 to create more varied elevation. You could do that with, I mean, you can kind of do that with the constrained floor elevation sheet, but that takes so much fidgeting to get right and I don't have the patience for it. Not for these builds, because it takes a lot of testing as well. Sometimes Sims are struggling with pathing, but yeah, I used half walls in these wood slash metal fences to really make this uh, house appear like it has like a, a slightly different elevation in certain parts. I even added, as you just saw, a roof part. Uh, this tiny window I placed in the bottom in the back there, that is also a bathroom, uh, which I didn't end up furnishing because again, as I said, they didn't have a lot of money left over in the end. So it's basically empty, but once they start earning a little bit of money or Dina gets married to someone obscenely rich, they'll have the cash to furnish their bathroom. And something that I always aim to do in these houses is to always put at least two toilets in the house. Unless it, unless there's like absolutely no space. And now that I think of it, probably when I get to the broke household, like Brandy's trailer is not gonna have the space for two bathrooms. 
Uh, so it's going to be a bit of a struggle. But for a household like the Caliente or the Lothario household, where the Sims are probably going to be throwing parties and inviting other Sims around, it's going to be such a struggle when there's only one bathroom and everyone's bladder is low and they want to use it. And yeah, it, it's going to be a Congo line to get there. So here I am choosing the colors for the downstairs area and I went with this green because originally this room was green. I ended up dividing the space a little bit with just this half wall so we could have like this little secluded entry area where I put a hanger, a clothes rack, their shoes I believe, I put a mirror, you know just a little entryway and I actually like the fact that I placed a bathroom on the downstairs area because their kitchen was so long. Like why was it this long? I don't know. It was just such a long kitchen it literally went the entire length of the house but yeah if you notice i actually kept that little mask they have on the kitchen wall the little red mask that's a very expensive object if i remember correctly but i didn't sell it i just thought that, like it's a little trinket that i wanted to keep for them and as you're noticing outside we have michael bachelor's gravestone which which had me thinking because uh mortimer got ended up showing up <laughs> as you saw earlier he ended up showing up on the lot and uh causing a little bit of trouble. I had free will on. They started doing weird things with Dina and uh, yeah, they got in a fight, but you'll see why later. You'll see why they got in a fight. It was, it, it, listen, when you have free will on, all the drama happens. I will just let my Sims lose. Like just let them lose. Free will on, ACR on, and, and they start doing crazy things. So yeah, they've already decided for themselves, Mortimer and Dina, that uh, this is not the storyline we're going for. <laughs> This is not the storyline we're going for. Dina will have to find another rich Sims Mary because Mortimer, uh, yeah, he hates her guts now. By the way, on the second floor, they have this shared bathroom, which uh, initially was so much bigger and it was such an awkward shape. Again, there were so many awkward like diagonal walls, which are just not very usable, unfortunately. It looks okay. Sometimes it looks okay, but for the most part, it's not very usable. And um, I... I was trying to think of a way like how can I retain the original silhouette of the house as much as I can while giving both the girls their own separate bathroom but I couldn't really think of a good way to do it so yes I ended up keeping the shared bathroom I made it slightly smaller gave them both doors and went with this very vivid almost Moroccan style color palette in here with the orange and blue tiles which I love I just love this for them they had such a bright household and I think the Caliente sisters, like, they're not natively from Pleasant View. They're probably from Strange Town or something like that because they do have alien genes. So they're, they're a bit quirky, they're a bit different, and that's good for them. I like that for them. It, it, it really gives them, like, a, a different kind of personality from the generic, uh, this is a 60s or 50s fever dream of modern day living <laughs> life simulator. Because The Sims 2 does have this retro feel. Uh, so, yes, I ended up going with colorful feature walls and pretty much I believe every room uh, I did this as you can see in the living room where I went with these with this zigzag sort of pattern with a wallpaper in the back when in orange and green which is the kind of color scheme we're going for on this floor I also ended up doing something similar in Nina's room which is purple themed you'll see more of that later and Dina's room as well Dina Dina had such a sad little room Nina had such a sad little room. I loaded the house and Nina has this big room with everything going on in it. She has a double bed. It looks like she's ready to invite the Lothario and have fun with him. You know what I mean? And then Nina has this sad little room with a single bed. She had a single bed. And I'm like, okay, doesn't, doesn't, why doesn't Dina get a double bed? It was kind of, it was kind of sad. I don't know why they did that. I don't, they did her dirty. They did her really dirty. I actually, the kind of makeover I went for Dina, I, got rid of the black dress in my default replacements the dress that she's wearing is very <clears throat> how should i say <laughs> it's very provocative looking and i thought well that's a little bit too much because i feel like dina would be trying to go for classy i feel like dina is like the regina george of pleasant view she she's giving me this vibe it's giving me this i actually i forgot to look at her personality i know she's a very sloppy sim I don't remember if she's a nice sim. I'm not sure about that, but I have to uh, I have to see that. I know she's very lazy. She is very lazy and you will see her being lazy later on as she experiences the household as she wants to. Uh, neither of them can cook, so I wasn't like 
trying to give them a really big kitchen with a lot going on because again they have like I think they have like zero cooking skills or something like that and neither of them have interest in food so I highly doubt they'll be spending a lot of time in the kitchen but yeah I tried to do a brighter color scheme here in the kitchen I placed these orange walls and I was like oh yeah orange again but then I couldn't find tiles that match the orange good enough I should probably go look for custom content tiles I mean there's not enough custom content in the game <laughs> there's never enough so yeah I ended up removing the orange and I went with a yellow which I don't like as much as I did the orange but it, it's good enough it's good enough again these are a work in progress what you're seeing right now i'm thinking like it can change in the future they can renovate they can do whatever they want you know who's gonna marry who's gonna get married in this household and who's gonna move in who's gonna move out i don't know what's gonna happen uh actually nina has i believe the want to move out i don't know if that's like hard coded in the game i'm using clean templates but i think they're completely true to what the scripted events do in the original base game so i don't think there are many changes in that regard but yeah, Nina wants to move out. I don't know if she'll move out. We'll see about that. Again, we'll get to this when I start actually playing these sims and I'm I'm already like super excited to play them. But I want to at least renovate all of the households that I've currently got in Pleasant View and then add the sub hoods and I'll tell you about my sub hood plan a little bit later, but it's gonna be very exciting. Uh, we're gonna add basically every pre-made. <laughs> every pre-made that exists in the game. Basically, it's gonna be an Uber hood, I believe, which I've never played, but I wanna see some craziness. I'm probably going to start actually playing when I renovate the Pleasant View household. And then over time, I'll be renovating each and every other neighborhood as well as the community lots. But this is something that is so time consuming and it takes, you know, it takes a lot of editing and thinking and planning, like especially when it comes to the community lots, because some of them are very empty and then you can do like really interesting things because these are base game community lots and then we had the expansion pack so I can do a club, I can do an arcade, I can do own businesses. You can do so many things and it's gonna take me a while to find exactly what I want to do with the community lots. I'm probably gonna renovate just the, just the family homes. I'll start playing and while I'm doing that we'll be also renovating all the other lots including the community lots and we'll start with the other neighborhoods, Strange Townville, Anvil and so on and so forth. Here we are in Nina's room. I wanted to keep the leopard print bed. I just think that's so iconic for her. <laughs> I didn't want to change it. I just changed the bed itself. But yeah, we're keeping the bedding, even though it kind of really doesn't match anything. Uh, I'm already struggling. I put that curtain there, but yeah, it's not really matchy, but it's fine. It's fine. It's bright. It's colorful. I gave her the neon heart. Um, if you saw the Don Lothario video, I was contemplating giving him this neon heart sign as well but i was like it's very it's a little bit too cute for him he's not that kind of guy i don't believe so i end up giving her the hearts and it just matches her room so perfectly i end up putting like a little fitness corner in here because she's a very active sim she likes to work out she does have the fitness machine on the ceiling on the rooftop <laughs> the ceiling oh my god on the roof yeah as you can as you just saw i just sold that because i'm like <laughs> This is this was I believe the only base game workout equipment we had, excluding the one career reward. I wanted to give her a little corner where she's gonna do her workouts. That little tiny carpet I put there, that's a workout mat, it's a custom content object, but it's very, you know, it's very Maxis friendly. Sims basically go on it and do the, the workout that they would do with a stereo or the TV. I'm putting a little desk in her room, I give her a little laptop. I don't think I gave Dina a laptop. I did something different with her room, but it's fine. I don't think they can afford a second laptop to begin with. <laughs> so I'm just placing a little bit of clutter here and there, some books some decorations. She didn't really have space for a closet or anything. So I just ended up putting this uh, clothes rack with a bunch of clutter, some shoes, some towels. She has an iron, but I didn't have like a ironing board that was propped up on the wall. I think her room turned out really cute. It has a little bit of clutter here and there. I'm putting some um, toilet paper and tissues on her nightstand with some coconut oil, you know. I'm not, I think she would need it. Anyways, moving on to Dina's room. As you can see, I've already pulled out a bunch of objects, which as I was building along the other room, I was noticing these and I'm like, okay, I think these would actually be cute in Dina's room. And I'm putting on uh, fuzzy sheets, more pillows. These are purely decorative, but they just elevate the room so much more. 
it makes it look pretty it makes it look girly Dina has this really light blue white theme and I think her room turned out so cozy and cute I actually would love this room for myself this is not the color scheme of my room but this is just so cute and I, I gave her this little vanity desk and as you can see she has a lot of things that she would just enjoy she has wine she has candles she has these plants here and there i don't know if she would take care of them maybe they're fake <laughs> but it just makes her look it just makes her room look so aesthetically pleasing she has perfumes she has dresses and shoes and bags hanging out she has clutter everywhere she has a nice croissant on the desk to get a little delicious snack although like she she would be the vain kind that would be like oh no that this has too many calories like it's fine dina eat your croissant have fun girl um so yeah <laughs> She's got a lot of dresses, a lot of shoes. How does she afford them? Maybe with many of her suitors who are offering to give her this or that and keep her happy. And maybe she would marry one of them. And yeah, I put some uh, colorful wallpaper on her wall as well. Just a little feature wall to make it a little bit, a little bit spicier. And <laughs> now moving on to the bathroom. The bathroom has pretty much everything they need. They have a, a larger counter space where both of them can like use the sink and check themselves out in the mirror wash themselves in the morning you'll see later i add a bit of clutter there with like lotions and skincare and things like that they have a shower they have a tub i added this like window sort of divider and yes here are the counters i'm putting all the little pretty things and skincare and lotions and things like that that i've pulled out for them uh, i ended up putting a couple of plants in this room as well like a hanging fern and this little plant on the counter to just make it just make it prettier just make it greener more welcoming and it's it's really cozy it's really cute i also ended up putting a little carpet i believe a little mat on the floor but that's not on the camera and here is mortimer <laughs> after <laughs> After getting in trouble with Dina, here he is sitting inside watching TV. He's already testing my lot. Yeah, I did some unpausing and pausing in game to just test out how different things are working out. But you just noticed I put Michael Bachelor's urn in its place near the window. I gave him a little end table with a bundle of books tied with a ribbon. I felt like maybe those are his diaries or letters he exchanged with uh, Dina while they were still courting each other i'm just trying to come up with a little like a head cannon for what they did together and basically this is the house i'm taking a look so far what i've done outside and here i am doing some really really basic landscaping first of all i'm lining the foundation of the house with dirt i've seen other creators do this in particular in the sims 4 and i think it just looks cute it's a little bit finicky in the sims 2 <laughs> it's not as easy but it just makes the house even when there's not a lot of landscaping going on because this family cannot afford too much landscaping but it, it makes it look um very grounded very like it, the house has a sturdy foundation and it's actually like planted into the ground it's not just sticking on top of it i'm adding a little bit of ferns a little bit of bushes again some terrain paint to make it look more natural I rearranged the sims here because they were blocking me from putting the fence on even with move objects on they're so annoying sometimes but yes I'm doing a little bit of landscaping here some dirt some patchy grass there maybe the girls are not taking care of their their lawn too much I don't know but yeah I wanted to just add a little point of interest some more bushes make it just look more alive make it just look more welcoming and I think it turned out okay it's just very minimal but it works out some finishing touches we're adding outdoor lights a little light above the door i did already add lights on the top of the building on the rooftop and some in the front and this is it this is the finished caliente house Nina already has a guest and she is going to attend to him right now and they seem to be getting very cozy in her room. Meanwhile, Dina is probably going to check herself out in her vanity and she's going to see what kind of dress she's going to wear later tonight because she has a date with yet another rich man after Mortimer got disappointed her. They're both getting clean and ready and gussying up in the bathroom and uh... <laughs> Nina's walking around in her underwear and Dina is vegging it out on the couch and she's having a little cry over Michael Bachelor and then they decided that they need some comfort food after after everything they went through today. 
and Dina's gonna cook. She's gonna cook. She has zero cooking skill points. So as I was recording this, I was like, please don't set the house on fire. Dina, please, please don't do it. Please, girl, I just built this. Don't, don't do it. And Cassandra God apparently made her way into the house and is chilling in the jacuzzi. So yeah, this is my Kelly into house renovation. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll be back soon with another one. So subscribe if you want to see more of this. And yeah, see you. Bye. Fine. Okay, I listen. What are these townies doing? What? <gasps> what? <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> no! Wait! Oh, he turned her down! No, she's so sad! Dina, don't eat your emotions away. It's okay, there are other rich sims out there for you.